Okay, this is the PE900 transmitter. This is gonna be your main communication tool that we're gonna use uh, for communicating with your dog. What I'm gonna go over is how to hold it. So this is how to hold it with your right hand. So what I want you to do is just put it in your right hand, kind of get comfortable just holding it. And then the second step, take the tip of your thumb and place it on the bottom of the dial. And then find out where your fingers rest naturally on the transmitter. So my fingers rest the best with my middle finger on this red bottom button on the side there. So that's how I'm gonna be teaching you guys, but any one of these buttons will work, just whatever is most comfortable to you. So first what we're gonna practice is with the thumb on the bottom of the dial and you're just gonna scroll up. Once you scroll up, then just scroll back down and then just practice doing this, scrolling up as far as you can go and then coming back down. And then right before you scrolling up again, make sure the tip of your thumb is on the bottom of that dial. So when you scrolling up, you can scroll up as high as you can with just one thumb movement. And I would have you guys do this with only one hand so don't hold it with your left hand. Just practice scrolling up and down with one hand. Get the feel for it. Once you get the feel for doing that, then what I'm gonna have you do is click the button that works best for you. Click it, hold it, then scroll up and you see this red light is on, that shows me that the e-collar is getting stimulation. Once the light's off, that means that there is no more stimulation being received by the e-collar. So now I'm gonna go back down, click hold, and scroll. Let off, go back down, click hold, scroll, let off, go back down. And I want you guys to repeat this process until you get comfortable with it. Click hold and scroll. Once you get good at click holding and scrolling, <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is be a little more precise. Click, hold, scroll up to a five, let off. That's a six, oh, goes back down to a five then back down to zero. So in this drill, it doesn't matter how precise you are, just get as close as you can. So the next number I'll do is a 15. I'm just gonna get as close as I can to a 15. Let off, go back down. Now I'm gonna try a 25, click, hold, scroll, all the way to 25. Once I get there, I'm gonna let off, scroll back down. Now I'm gonna try to go to 40. Let off, go back down, and you can kind of see how fast I'm getting there. We want to get to the number fairly quickly. It takes about a second and a half to two seconds. So I'll do a 20 again. So you can kind of see the speed that I'm getting there. Let off, scroll back down, and then go ahead and pick a number and scroll up to it. And just get as close as you can. And then once you get to that number, scroll back down. And then ideally what we'd like you to do is to pick a number and then don't look at the dial, look elsewhere. So I'm gonna try for 20, let off. So I didn't look, that's as close as I got. Cause when you're using the e-collar, your eyes aren't gonna be on the screen, your eyes are gonna be on the dog. And you're gonna be reading whether the dog is feeling the stimulation or not. So this is practice for that. 